News of the solar lunar uh, eclipse happening on September 28th. Well, the lunar eclipse is the night of September 27th to September 28th. And this is the second of the year and will be uh, doubly exceptional. It will be a total for a large number of Earthlings here on planet Earth, September 28th, for from 2 a.m. And it will be from, uh, as usual, because uh, due to the perigee, and it will be a super full moon entering the shadow of the Earth, uh, our natural satellite. And it will change color and it will become more brown, red, and then sepia. A rare phenomenon not to be missed. And so, five days after the equinox of the fall, many people will uh, and can admire between the 27th of September to 28th. Uh, September 2015, according to their geographical position. A lunar eclipse, much of the land is emerged and is indeed concerned with the notable exception of Eastern Siberia, India, China, and two, Cor and two Koreas, Japan, Indonesia, and Australia. The full moon, uh, the harvest moon, and the anglo saxons call them and will be aligned with the sun and earth. It will pass through the cone uh, of shadow of our planet for more than five hours. Uh, this natural phenomenon is, gives an appointment. Uh, September 28th, late at night, between 11 p.m. Um, and 5 p.m. local time. It is remarkable in so many m ways than one. It will be visible in, East, in, in Eastern Europe. Um, it will be seen as a partial, and the next will be held in January 31st, 2018. And we, they will not see it in Europe instead until July 27th. And that appeared to, the, uh, appeared to them in the old continent, darkened and tinted in red. Um, I will post the map in this position, also in line with the sun, the earth, and the moon. So I will show you a map it will only be visible um, the night of the September 27th and 28th. <laughs> How to observe this uh, eclipse? Well, uh, what makes an uh, eclipse totally outstanding? Well, the moon is our natural satellite. It will appear larger in our sky than usual. It will be indeed a super full moon. This minimum of distance to Earth or perigee its orbit is elliptical. It's reached this September 28th at 2 a.m. It will be um, 356,882 kilometers away from uh, the Earth. And from this celestial body, it is only apparent uh, 33 degrees. And it is greater than a full moon. It would occur during the apogee or the image of Apod that outlines eloquent differences by comparison after the last new moon, which has also produced a partial sun eclipse for a bare minimum of the Earth. The planet that comes from our, pla from our planet is about 4.5 billion years ago and uh, was exactly 406, 406,462 400, kilometers from Earth. Apart from every early hour, um, the observation will be er easily uh, to look uh, bare or with binoculars. Recall that, unlike of the solar eclipse, the passage of the moon in the shadow of the Earth is safe. What will we see during this hour? Four times smaller than our planet, the full moon will lose its legendary brilliance that night, and it will slide into darkness and then into a central shadow larger than 9,600 kilometers from the Earth for uh, people in Earth installed in this area, will, where would it be visible? The phenomena will begin September 28th at 0 hours 11 minutes uh, Greenwich Mean Time. So less than an hour later, 7 to 3 a.m., um, the moon enters its shadow phase and its total, total totality will last more than an hour and 11 minutes. It will begin at 4 a.m. 11 and it will end at 5 a.m. 23 minutes. For, from the central point to 4 p.m. 51 minutes, it will not be until 7 a.m. the moon to, to f fully resume its normal hue. So note that the end of the eclipse coincides with uh, the first light of dawn. Another issue is the height of the moon during that time. And it will be rather low on the horizon. It will come down during its time of the shadow. Better to choose a clear horizon on the side, uh, 
the software or any astronomical specialist can be helpful. Um, I can suggest one. Uh, there's Star Chart, there's Stellarium, and there's other more websites. You can you can just Google star charts on Google and just look for a chart. I have presented some couple examples in our selection published on the occasion of the Night of Stars. And I will uh, this will be good tool for use at a, in a PC, for example. They're very uh, free examples here, Stellarium, of course, uh, which uses a planetarium, and it is a po it is possible to switch time, view the whole planet, the whole galaxy, in its entire course where one is located, and to know where and how high the moon will be at that particular time. Um, now we'll post a link down below for that. So this Monday, September twenty eighth, the phenomenon of a total eclipse of the moon. It's um, with a super full moon, the explanations for a fairly faithful translation. Um, it's a video and it's about a super moon and a lunar eclipse. So this beautiful red moon, uh, the star will therefore try more cosmetics from a different shade of grey to more cream, to white, to yellow. Uh, this orange or bl blood red moon uh, will turn darker and then into sepia. Uh, this will deepen you know, even across the atmosphere of the Earth, especially if the rate of volcanic rash uh, volcanic uh, ash and um, uh, forest fires. So they are wonderful moments for photogenic, uh, which are also a delight for amateur astronomers, who paradoxically will observe the deep uh, the night sky without discomfort, despite the full moon, of course, the temptation of taking photographs um, is great, and it's a good opportunity to try it. A foot is needed to stabilize the camera, especially since it is better to choose a small aperture, thus a f to up to f11, uh, for example, the device must be set in manual mode um, if it exists, the night mode or starry sky. Uh, may disappoint because the moon, which is full of light at the beginning and at the end of the eclipse, uh, while these modes are designed to capture the stars in the black sky, um, with exposure, uh, times which can be very long, the sensitivity needs not to be a setup, which would make losing quality. The best is to try and see the result immediately. Although there is neither a photographer nor an amateur astronomer, the total eclipse is a super full moon. It's a beautiful and it is striking to its natural spectacle, worth seeing. The phenomenon was not ashamed of solar eclipse. However, if unfortunately the weather is not favorable in your own area, NASA is offering streaming video of event captured live from American uh, observatories. Finally, note that in turn, operators of the probe LRO uh, lunar Renaissance Orbiter presents around the moon for 60 years, an observation of the private face of the sun as the Earth intervenes. Researchers want to study the effects of temperature drop of the lunar surface in order to always get a better understanding of what this uh, luminary has to offer, which has contributed so much for science.